Hi everybody, I'm here again. Here I am again. I wanted to show you that I got delivered my um my my hearts in uh, yo yo hearts. I got two sizes and um and then this one is a um Kanzashi flower maker gathered petal large size. So I'm not going to worry about that one right now. And I'm going to go ahead. I wasn't worried about a flipping thing, to tell you the truth. But I'm going to go ahead and open this. But first, I want to open this. This here, I got a package. And um, this came from um, Laurel Junk. Laurel Junk. You've heard of her? She lives up in their Canadi in Canada. In Canada. Look how pretty it says, may good things grow all year long. And look, she's got stamps of like flowers and butterflies and pretty things. And all the way from Canada, I think that's just awesome. Thank you very much. Now, I open the package and I see pieces of fabric. And she put a tag on there that says, I found some cute fabric to go with the tool I sent last year. I know you'll make something wonderful. And yes, thank you again for the tool you sent me last year. But look at this, how beautiful this is. With a um, unicorn, first the rainbows, and the unicorn with the gold little hearts all over it. These are pretty. Look at them, you unicorns. Look how all these go together, so pretty. These are gonna go on a doll. And then here's with the unicorn ears and the unicorn horn with gold. And look how they just are beautiful together. And so these are gorgeous. Thank you so much, Laurel. These are beautiful. And I love them. Now, I, this I didn't open yet. This I said, oh, I'm going to wait and open that after I get a, a bit of a video going. And she says... She says, Sweet Miss Elizabeth. See that? Isn't that cute? That's adorable. That just, oh, I don't know about all that sweetness. But I just want to thank you for your videos, your inspiration, and for sharing your heart with all of us. I just freaking love you. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Best wishes, love, and hugs, Laurel. That's adorable. Now, let's see. Let me put this note right here because that's going to go in my journal and then look at this here is torn fabric dyed to make the ribbon now let's see what's in here I've always said anything in tissue is valuable and beautiful you know before you even look so this I haven't looked at yet so this is we'll see what this is well there's tissue paper that I can reuse we reuse and re everything Oh, oh! I see another note. Okay, let's put this right here. Now here's another little note. Look at the unicorn on there. Okay, what this note says? It says, "I hope this little book is useful for lists or notes, quotes or doodles." Perfect. And I love little. I love little, you know, um, oh, this is a paper clip. This is one of the hidden paper clips. I think those are so awesome. I've seen these so many times and I've said, oh, I've got to make some of them. And then I don't actually ever do it. And look at the scrap fabric. See? Scraps. Love that. And that's a paper clip. Okay. Now. Unicorn. Look at that gold piece of paper right there. Oh. She used an envelope, first of all. Oh, uh, an envelope with a with a the picture frame, the cellophane. And then inside there, there's a note card. Look how pretty. And a little mountainous view. She used um, like a dictionary page to cover. And then there's pages here, tea dyed. Oh, and look, 
Ooh, how pretty. That looks like a little wax seal on there. Oh, and the edging on this page is fabric. Just glued right on there. Hummingbird and a rabbit. Rabbit looking up at the hummingbird. Say, would you come play with me? Our rabbit. We have, we have a rabbit. Aria's got a rabbit. And this morning that rabbit was running around. She stays in her cage. He stays in his cage most of the day. But he gets to come out and do zoomies all over the house. And this morning he was just wanting to aggravate the cat and the dog. I'm telling you, because they're all about the same size, cat, dog, rabbit, they're all about the same size. And it was so funny watching them to see the cat and the dog try to run from the rabbit. You Normally you would think the cat and the dog would want to eat the rabbit. But here, now look at there. And that almost looks like a rabbit because its ears, Aria's rabbit is a lop-eared rabbit, so the ears don't stick up, they lay back. And, and um, a, that's a pretty stamp right there to make an edge. Hearts, butterfly. Oh, this here at page has got lace on the edge with just a couple of little gems. In the center, we have the tie, the string where it's tied together has, oh, look at that one. It's got the little moon face on there on the end of that little, um, little thingy, a heart. Every page, look, it's, it's got a satin heart. I just love hearts. And there's ribbon with the, um, look how pretty orange and purple goes together. Butterfly, look at these. Ooh, look at that stamp of a dragonfly. Page five cents. Another unicorn sticker. Is that a sticker? I think so. Oh, and she signed it. Thank you for signing it. I always have, I, I have went through some of my um, things that I've gotten from people and um, and then I forget, and I feel bad when I do forget, I forget um, who sent, who sent it. But when you sign it, well, this, I'm putting that little note in there. Oh, I got to put it behind the picture. There we go. And I love these. I'm, I am, I've got plenty of paper clips and plenty of paper and definitely plenty of scrap fabric. So, oh, I can't cover up. The, there we go. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Laurel. This is awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. That is so kind of you for the book and for the fabrics. The, I would use one of those fabrics now for the heart, but I'm going to use this one. I'm not ready to cut into that one. Always when I get new fabric, I can't cut into it right away. Oh, I see my catnip. I just got this catnip. We, me and Arya, we decided we're going to make little toys for the um, for the cat, and we're going to put catnip in it. So I ordered, ordered um, it says it stimulates. Stimulate one of your cat's. 10 needs. Okay, we're going to stimulate that. We're going to stimulate those needs. Okay, so now I'm going to get this heart out of here. We're going to get the heart thing out of here. I ordered this out of, ordered this from, from um, Amazon. Look how pretty the hearts go all around that basket. Always on the packaging, there's um, little ideas of things you can do with the finished um, things. And then there's always, in all the packaging, you always get the directions of how to do it. So if you have any questions, and of course we can't read that because it's in Japanese, but um, or Chinese or Indian chief, something. But look how pretty that is. If you were to cut this out and then dye it, you know what I think I might do is make a copy because I don't know what that says, but you know it says something good because it's giving instructions on how to use these and how to make the Kardashian. I keep wanting to say Kardashian, but it's not Kardashian. It's, um, what is that word? Kanzashi. These Kanzashi flowers that were originally made, like I said the other day, originally um, the ladies would make them... Um, 
and put them in their hair or make brooches from them. Um, you know, put them like on a hair clip and brooches and stuff. And so, and they are pretty. I got some others that I got started in there, but I got to finish them up because I got to you know, need my glue gun a little bit. Um, so here we go. The, it comes in two pieces, the yo-yo makers. So there's, um, so you always want to, on the dish part, you always want to put your fabric f to where you're going to see what color it's going to be on that side. So you put that face down. And then um, they're all pretty much the same. Are these ones numbered? No, this one's not numbered. Some of them you get, they're numbered of where to start. Now this one will be easy enough to start. Um, I won't have to mark I won't have to mark it, but um, my circle ones I got marked start and finish so because I can't always see the thread. And so this I won't have to do that with. But because um, I'll start right down here and I'll go all the way around. Okay, so anyhow, so I'll put my heart and I put it, I'm going to need a little bit of, um, of, of um, seam allowance. So, and, and that's enough right there and enough up here. So that's where I can put my, um, put my, put, put my, um, the, the, the gadget. And then you push that in there. You'll hear it snap. Well, hopefully. There we go. It snapped. So it's in there. And that's enough, that's enough um, fabric that it'll hold. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Now, let me see, I'm gonna cut around. And leaving, um, leaving enough of, uh, of, of the seam allowance. And see, and I'm kind of, these scissors aren't real sharp, so I'm sort of chopping it. My sharper scissors are in the other room, and I didn't feel like walking in there to get them. Okay, so here we go. Now, hopefully this works, because I feel like I, um... Oh, there we go. That wasn't all snapped in. There we go. Now, so... I got that one kind of close right there, but... bit as we wanna there we go so I'm gonna start with my needle and thread from the back and we're gonna go I wonder if I have to cut we're going to come come from the bottom through because see they got them little smiley faces all around and you want to make sure that your thread stays in the smiley face we can't let the thread so you go come through one side of the smiley face and go out now I'm going to hold this and go up the other side and I'm holding that that seam allowance down and Make sure, don't ever let that thread go over, over this. If you do that, the center there, well, if you do that, well then, Lord have mercy knows, you'll have done, sewed your heart to the, to the thingy-majig and, um, what do you call these? What would you call them? They're not a die, I guess a template? No, they're just a tool. We'll just call it a tool. Okay, so, and we're going to go all the way around the heart, and it goes in one side, see, so the thread stays hidden, actually, once you put the stitch through, the, the thread is actually hidden. because it, it's pulled down into the smile. 
I don't know if those are called smiles, but I call them smiles. So that is a good thing. You always, you always really don't need a lot of thread once you, um, once you get this all tied together. So, but you need a lot of thread to get around the whole outside perimeter. This is where I should probably pause and finish around and then I got some sharp needles right here. I'm always excited when I get something new. I want to try it right away. Just right away. My family went swimming. They're out, well, they're over at um, Gigi's house of the other grandma, except not Kaya. Kaya is here with me and Papa, but she's taking a nap. She that girl has to have her naps, boy. If that girl don't get her nap, she's a two year old teenager, I'm telling you. Crump, crump, crump. So she's having a nap. And me and Papa, we're in charge. We're doing babysitting right now. We're about babysitting duty. Although they'll probably be home from swimming before she wakes up, so it's all good. Last night we all colored eggs. I don't even know how many people were here. There was at least a dozen people coloring eggs and they colored in so many different ways they had paint they had egg dye they had these little spinners and markers and crayons okay go in there elizabeth oh here it goes right here there we go now this is the last stitch and so, but their eggs turned out gorgeous. And then there was something else they had. They were, they had color in um, rice that they put them in there. It sprays. These eggs turned out to be like a work of art. Okay, so now we take it apart. And I wonder if I have to cut down in there. It seems like I may have to. Let me see if that shows, if I can see by the picture. So I can't read it. Oh, there's a picture of a scissor right there. A picture of a scissor right there. So I'm thinking that maybe I may have to cut that. This indentation of the heart. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And if that doesn't do me right, well, then I'll know not to do it on the next one. But I'm just going to cut down there just a bit. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Then I'm going to pull this out of here. Now we're done with that. And now I'm going to pull this. Pull it tight like you do a regular round yo-yo. Pull the thread so you're gathering it all up. And you want to keep the seam allowance inside. as you're pulling the thread. I've got just regular thread on here, so I have it doubled up. I don't want to pull it too rough because I don't want it to break, especially when I'm on like national TV here. Okay, so I'm getting it all pulled together. This is my first heart. I think I'm really gonna like these hearts. You know what I could probably even do is make like little hangy things for the kitty. Put a little bit of stuffing in the heart and a little bit of the catnip. Ooh, yeah. And then hang them. Hang them for her to, you know, from the rung of a chair or something. Okay, now let's see where am I at here. Do I have this? I feel like I've got it. No, it's still pulling. Don't break, please, thread. Okay, I think I've got it. Now I'm going to tie. 
and let's see what the finished heart because then once you get it tied good put a surgeon's knot in there okay now now I'm going to cut that and now is when we Let's see if the picture shows how, oh yeah, it shows that the hole of the heart is up near where it comes to a V, so the, the opening of the heart. And my fabric that I have here is kind of a heavy fabric. Normally, I think you would, should use a light, like a quilting cotton, like a lightweight cotton. Now, my knitting needle here and go in here and poke down at the bottom. And yes, we have a heart. It is definitely a heart-shaped yo-yo. That is awesome. So yes, you do got to cut down. I may could have cut down a little further into the, yeah, I think, I think like here where that last first stitch is here and the last stitch is here, I think I should cut all the way down this far, all the way down to here, make that little snip in the fabric. But now, won't that be pretty slow stitched onto a, um, like if you're making a, a like a, a um, oh gosh, I can't think of words. It's like a snippet roll or something like this here. I'm working on making something for a bowl. But see now, if I were to take this and put it like right there, and just stitch it all the way around with like a little blanket stitch. That would be pretty right there. I got a lot of, or even right here. That would be pretty. I like that heart. And so then the other one will make one that's even smaller. And so the hole in here kind of shows you how what size your finished will be. And so this one here, you can see in the indentation what size this one will be. So that one will be smaller. Not a whole lot smaller. Oh, but look at here, how they did on that picture. You can see where they put like little um, pearls. Pearls in, in that, yeah, they put like little pearls right in into that center piece right there that would be pretty if they put a cluster of three little pearls so you could put anything right there or leave it like it is because it's even pretty because it's it's finished it's all finished that's gorgeous well i'm going to try this one but not right now i'm going to try that one after a little bit but even this one if you were to take a small heart and put on top of this that'd be pretty i've even got some heart-shaped buttons that would go pretty on there look at this heart-shaped if you have a little heart-shaped right there pretty oh all the things you could do okay i'm gonna read you all something so that we can get on with our daily chores which is your daily short chore should be nothing but scrapping Making something out of scraps. That should be your daily chores. All right. We've got a postcard from Spirit. And like I said yesterday, my spirit now are all of those who have gone before us. They're still going to chat with us. And you know what? Everything is real as long as you believe. I believe. Okay. Dearest you, we have a secret to share with you. See, this is our spirit talking to us. If you, s well, let, first of all, my spirit's telling me, put on your glasses so you can see what we're seeing. Yeah, okay. We have a secret to share with you. 
If you act as if all is well, it will be. Act as if you are brave and you will have courage. Act as if you are loved and you will be a magnet for love and experience the love of spirit. Act as if your prayers have been answered, as if you are truly in, with, in sync with good fortune. How you think is how you will see the world, interact with it, and draw conclusions from it. If you want to be the person who has the life you want, co-creating and loving what is yours, you need to start acting as if that were the truth. Don't worry about the conditions in your life that seem empty or cavernous, chaotic or barren. These are temporary and don't even count. Defy them, defy them and act as if you're the luckiest person on the planet. You will be, for you already are. That's the real secret. You are infinite potential. Loving you so much, rainbows explode in the ether. In the ether. E-T-H-E-R. In the ether. That is beautiful. Yes, that is a message right there. Gosh, now I'm looking at this fabric again. And I think now I want to make a heart. Maybe with this one? I don't know. I want to make a heart now. Isn't that cute how she put that tag on there? This is a good message, right? I'm going to leave that out right there so I can read that again. Okay, I thank you so much for watching. And I... um. I hope you come back again. I hope you come back again. I'm glad you come today. If you're new, thank you. And I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you come back again. If you are a returning returning friend, thank you for being a friend. Thank you for returning. And you all are just beautiful. Okay, now happy stitching to you all. I need to get this needle. See how I just lay my needles down and then directly I can't find them until I step on them on the floor. Let's put that right there. Okay. <laughs> my mother always used to use a pin in a... She'd put pin needles in a, the end of the thread. Okay. Um, I love you guys. May God watch over you every step you take, every move you make. Keep you healthy, happy, humble. Keep you safe and secure. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.